But that game last night was one of the greatest games that I've watched in a long, long time. Everybody praying for the tie. We have a certain individual partner of ours uh, who is going to cash in. And I'll say the number because I think it's unbelievable. Could have won $11,000 if this game tied, right? But it didn't. It didn't happen. Now, there's so many layers to this, right? The Raiders were the feel-good story after everything. They went, they've been through a lot, right? They, they've been through this whole Gruden with the firing, Rugs with the DUI and killing somebody. Like, it's been a rough year for the Raiders. However, that's the team you kind of want to get behind. Like, when, like, all right, despite all the shit, let's see how far they can go. And here they are. They're a playoff team now, which is unbelievable. Not only that, they're the five seed. Uh-huh. Right. So, Dina's. Raiders are in the playoffs. Tommy D's Raiders. Joey D's Joey Raiders. D. Shout Mark, out Joey D. My boy D. Mark's loyal, Raiders. Loyal There's daily a lot listener. of Raiders fans out there that are excited about this. And I, like I said last week, I'm a big, big car guy. Love this guy. Love everything he says. Love everything he does on and off the field. He is a wonderful human being. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. However, this game and the way that these teams could have gotten into the playoffs should have been the way they got into the playoffs. However, our boy over Analytics USA in LA Brandon, screwed the pooch. Brandon Staley. He absolutely dropped the donkey ball. of the day. What exactly was he thinking calling that timeout? It was clear. Well, and I know what he was what thinking. The I, listened, I know what he was thinking. I watched the press conference. Yeah, but that's he again, said like that he said that. Well, first of all, if you look at the play clock, there is no reason why he needs to call a timeout. He actually saved the Raiders from a delay of game. They were they were letting the play clock run out. So what his what the point that he made made no sense. If I'm if I'm saw that correctly, I'm pretty sure there was like four seconds left in the play clock when he called the timeout. And he said that well, he knew they were going to run the ball. I mean, they were on the 42. You definitely didn't know they were going to run yeah, the ball. Bullshit. Then if they were if he knew that, then he also knew that they were trying to run the damn clock. Exactly. Out. So it Where made no at? sense whatsoever. And he was saying that he wanted to get his run defense out there which I also want to see. I know that maybe Toast will do this and like look at the personnel that was out on the field and Mm -hmm. then look at the personnel that actually played after the timeout to see if he actually did make some substitutions because I would like to know that. But yeah, you don't call timeout there, man. When you have a, you're just basically saying here, guys, like, don't you remember? You could knock us out of the playoffs with it if you kick this field goal. And the Raiders were like, oh shit. Derek Carr was animated coming off the field because he was pissed off that the Raiders were going to settle for the tie and when they call the timeout, he walked off the field and he got in the face of Ball Sacha or <laughs> Ball Sakia, who I think Jim Harbaugh should pump his brakes because I don't know that, that job might I not think be he available. coached himself right. into a, a, a at least another season. But yeah, man, like you don't call Derek Carr walks off the field, and when the Raiders actually decided to run the play and get the first down and get into field goal range, you saw how happy Derek Carr was. Like he he's a competitor; he wanted to win that football game. But maybe we got a new guy added to the list of who's next. I know that he was the darling head coach all season long. It's like this young, exciting team with mm-hmm. Justin Herbert, and you got the new head coach that's doing all these weird things. But guess what? You're still the Chargers. You still chargered. You, you said you said it last night. That's a fireable offense. That's a fireable offense. Not to mention, and I understand analytics, and maybe this you could relate to this because I'm pretty sure it happened with your Dallas Cowboys this year, which – McCarthy's definitely not an analytics guy. He just tries once in a while. He to pretended fucking, he was to get that job to throw something in there. <laughs> and what happens is when you go for it on fourth and one on your own 16 yard line, you set yourself back big time. The, the Chargers should have won that game outright. Just play football, man. Here's just play football. And, and look, I'll give credit where credit's due because I hit send tweet when I said Dak was better than Justin Herbert. And then Justin Herbert went Joe Montana on this game. I have to give credit where credit's due. There was like 18 fourth down conversions at the try. How many times did I tell you, Dina? Hey, Dina, one more play. No, yeah. one now, more play. Now I'm talking one more here. Play. And Ken, it just kept Ken, not in the Ken, end. Ken, just to touch on this, he said nobody should play for a tie. Would have been total That's shit. That's bullshit. You're though. a Steelers fan, and I understand they didn't play for a tie. Those teams played to win the game. In that situation, though, um, the Raiders weren't stupid to, to play for the tie. They were playing it safe. <sighs> although you don't want to really go into Arrowhead, you'd rather get the five seed over the seven seed. Whatever. Here, here's, I, Okay. You don't want to play for the tie. I agree. They didn't play for the tie, but in that spot where there's 40 seconds to go, you're not necessarily in field goal range. The only thing that can happen is something bad. You don't really play for the tie there. Well, that said, how sick would it have been if the Steelers didn't get in the playoffs 
because of a tie, because of a tie. Like, there would have been two it ties. It would have been the that biggest the narrative out. in the whole world. And congratulations to the Steelers, who, again, we'll get into their game in a second, but, like, I, I wrote them off for dead, right? And they should be because this game should have been a tie. And why I say that is because, and it's the same thing I was telling Dina. It was the same thing I was telling my brother, who was watching it on delay, by the way. That was rough. I re- my brother's, like, was, like, streaming it. So he was, like, 10 seconds behind. And I was like, oh, my God. He's like, dude, stop. And I was like, what, what, <laughs> what do you mean? Then he explained to me what the hell was going on. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, the only way now, remember everybody knew the scenario. If this team, if this game went to a tie, both game, both teams get in, right? That is 110% fact, right? So the Raiders have the ball. The game is tied. They realize they're going to, you know what? They realized that they said, you know what? They're right. We're going to get to the playoffs. Let's just sit on this thing. And they started to do that. And when the Chargers called timeout, that lit a fire on their everybody in Las Vegas. But then I still thought to myself, I was like, wait a minute. Regardless of the fire that's lit onto you, the only way the Raiders lose this game at that very point was to try to field goal because it could have got blocked and the Chargers could have could have took it back and won the game that way. I think that they you were still insured yourself. I think, the Raiders were still, I think they were still in the in the realm of like, okay, we're gonna run the ball. They just got eleven yards up the middle. The chunks the were Chargers the, the chunks were plenty up. I get it. The chunks were plentiful. But I'm saying the only way the Raiders could have lost that game, guaranteed, or well, not guaranteed, but a chance would be is to kick the field goal and something go awry, right? All you had to do was say, Hey, assholes, Lisa, this is what I would have did as, 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 as the pistachio, pistachios, balsacchia, whatever the hell his name is, right? <laughs> this is what I would have said to him. From across the way, I would have said, as Rick, I would have said, hey, jerk off. I'm trying to run the clock out so we can both get to the playoffs. And then Staley should have been like, ah, shit, you're right. You're right. Let's just let's just see, take a knee. See, and then pistachio was like, nah, fuck see, off. And then went and kicked the field It basically the was that. And then he was yeah, like, oh, shit. No it was like he was reminding him. Well, there need there doesn't need to be an actual. You're not going to be like. You might. You might be like, hey. No, no, Red, no. Hey, buddy. I hey, think it was pretty. E- I think it in. was pretty evident what the Raiders were doing in that situation when they let the play clock run down to fucking here, three seconds. Now, here's where so. I'm at. Here's where I'm at. The game happens, right? And don't, Ken Palman, I know. You play to play in the game. I get it. To Fine. tie the game. Oh, to tie the game. But anyway, I know, I know what could have happened. But. We all saw what happened last year at the end of the 2020 season with the Eagles and the Giants, right? All the Eagles had to do was win a game and then, like, it'll put the Giants in the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. Remember that whole, like, they literally took a knee on on live TV, basically, and said, we don't care about this game, we don't care about the Giants. What the Raiders just did to the Chargers, I'm telling you right now, this is going to turn into, if it wasn't already, this is a blood feud going forward. Bro, you could go back blood to the Kellen Win- go back to the Kellen Winslow game with the Raiders. They they've been feuding yeah, but for this, a really this long ignites time. Ignites that big ass flame that's in that is in the Death Star. This flame will, will be forever ignited because you have both had a chance to make the playoffs, and because of a brain fart, according to Staley, that was like, oh, I have personnel problems. Yeah, you're bull- you're full of shit. I don't know what you were trying to do, but you did it wrong, and because you did it wrong, you set your team back because the Raiders now will beat that ass every single year. That, I, this is it was an incredible game. Don't get me wrong. One of the greatest games I've watched live. And when I'm sitting there on my couch by myself, I'm like reacting. I'm like, did you? St-? I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm like so excited to watch this game. It's midnight. I was tired. I was half asleep at one point. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. And then shout out to NBC. NBC put the graphic up with six minutes to go in the game. The Raiders were up 12. And, and they put, or no, they were up uh, uh, 17, 16, whatever. Yeah, I was giving congrats DMs and 15. stuff. They were, they were, whatever, yeah, whatever, 15. The, the rate, they were putting up the thing like, well, they'll play this one over here, and then we'll play this one over here, and they were doing the music, and I'm like, wait, what the frick just happened? Yeah, well, oh. good for Steelers fans because they got in, right? At the end of the Steelers day, guys get happy. In. I you, guess you get to survive I guess another happy, week. Happy for Big Ben to get another shot at I mean, something. Another, how much of that it, shot's going to last? I will say this. It would have been a shitty way to end your career watching that game. Guys, there were, uh, and I know if you watched the game, you saw this. There were Steelers fans in the crowd with their Steelers jerseys. Like, they went to this game based off knowing if this game ends in a tie, we're we're out. You know, I could have, I said in Chop Sports, I said, please hug, like, almost like hug a Steelers fan right now because they're going through it. Like, they're sitting there. It's going to happen. And when the Raiders started running that ball in that drive with no aspirations of really trying to hit a big play, I was like, Steelers are done. They're done. And here they are. They're in the playoffs again. So 
The Fogs here. Uh, Staley has had a ton of questionable calls this season and has displayed horrible situational awareness. Well, again, Gooch just said it. This could be fireable. It won't be. Like, he's too young, and they love the guy, I guess. But if I'm if I'm the GM of the Chargers right now and I had a chance to make the playoffs by just sitting there and sitting back and doing nothing, and you don't, that is the biggest Chargers chargered yeah, of all they, time. It's not great. Not great at all. So 